Hello everybody, it's Pineapple here, back with another video. So, today I wanted to talk about one of the decks that got a lot stronger on the ban list since Runic is coming back this format, and that is, of course, Runic for Hire. Um, if you're unfamiliar with the For Hire cards, they kind of just want to chain summoning together, you know, special out their guys, kind of swarm the field. Um, and also, their main boss monster, Fulgo, likes to draw three cards, and you know what drawing cards means. It means it fits great into Runic, because it get, means that you get to draw even more cards, and subsequently, you know, spit out more interruptions, and just stop your opponent from playing. Um, so that said, let's hop into the card by card. Uh, first up, we have Rafal. Uh, if it's special summon, you get to excavate the top cards of your deck equal to the number of monsters for higher you control with different names except itself, and if you do, you get to add one from your, from the, your deck to your hand. Uh, and then you shuffle the rest back into your deck. Additionally, when your opponent activates Monster Effect, you get to discard a, a Fur Hire, negate the activation. Uh, so he's also a negate in addition to, you know, Pot of uh, Duality, uh, most likely. Uh, we have one copy of Wiz. Uh, Wiz is a spell negate, and when it's special summon, you get to gain 500 for each Fur Hire monster you control. Uh, additionally, like Rafal, you have to discard to negate. Uh, we then have three copies of Beat. Um, during the main phase, you get a special summon a monster for higher from your hand, except itself, and, and a for higher monster, a special summon your field while you control this monster, except during the damage step, you get to add a for higher monster from your deck to your hand, except itself, which is, you know, really great for searching everything in the deck. We have three copies of Ash Blossom, of course, because we're going to be drawing a lot. We have one copy of Don Pa, uh, Marksman for higher. During your main phase, you get a special summon a monster for higher from your hand, except itself, um, and if a monster for higher is a special summon your field while you control this monster, you get to target a face-up card in the field and destroy it. Uh, just like an excellent removal card. Uh, three copies of Rex for Fright for Hire. Uh, this card is unbelievable. When it's normal or special, you get to add a Spell Trap for Hire from deck to hand. And during the main phase, if you control a monster for Hire, you get to banish it from your graveyard, target a card, tart. You get to banish it from your graveyard, target a for Hire mon card in your graveyard, either add it to your hand or special summon it. Um, so basically, it just is recursion. Uh, it searches the Spell Traps, which are also recursion and e tellies. Uh, but we'll get into that in a little bit. Uh, one copy of Philo. Uh, during the main phase, you get to special summon a monster for hire from your hand, except itself. And if a monster for hire is special summoned while you control it, you get to target a monster or for hire in your graveyard, special summon it, uh, but it gets shuffled into the deck when it leaves the field. Um, we also have one copy of Sealed Strategist for hire. During the main phase, you get to special summon a monster for hire from your hand, except itself. And if a monster for hire is special summoned to your field while you control it, uh, you get to target a monster for hire in your graveyard, add it to your hand. Um, we then have one copy of Fossil Dig. This is just an extra copy of Rex. Uh, two copies of Talents. Uh, we don't really want to be drawing multiples of Talents, especially because sometimes it just doesn't come online. So two feels really good. Uh, we have one copy of Mayhem for Hire. You get to target for Hire in your graveyard. Special Summon in Defense Position. It's a once per turn. Uh, we then have three copies of the Fabulous, Fabulous Rookie for Hire. You tribute a monster. Special Summon a monster for Hire from your hand or deck whose level is one higher or lower than the tributed monster had on the field. Uh, and then you can't attack the turn you activate this card except with monsters for Hire. But you know we're playing Runic, so we don't really care about attacking anyways. This is just so good. Uh, it gets you to beat off of things like Hugin. Uh, just, it just searches your entire deck. It's unbelievable. Uh, for Runic cards, we're on three copies of Destruction, a Dispelling, uh, three copies of Flashing, three copies of Freezing, three copies of Slumber, a Smiting Storm. Of course, we're on three copies of Tip, and the brand new Semi-Limited uh, Fountain. Uh, in the extra, we have one copy of Jerry, a Munin, two copies of Hugin, one copy of Avermax, an access code, two copies of Fulgo. Uh, can't be used as a link material. If it's link summon, you get to special summon a monster for hire with a different type from the three monsters used for the link summon from your deck in defense position. And if a card your opponent controls is destroyed, or by battle or card effect, you get to draw a card. And then if you control three or more monsters for hire with different names, you get to draw two additional cards. Uh, each effect is a hard once per turn. Um, we have one copy of Nightmare Unicorn and two copies of Donner, uh, Dagger for hire. Um, you can art you a monster for higher you control, and one monster your opponent controls, destroy them, and, and you contribute one monster, special summon one monster for higher from your hand or graveyard with a different original name than the attributed monster. Then if you tribute a link monster for this, for this effect, you get to special summon one more such monster, and you can only use uh, each, you can only use one uh, effect per turn, and only once that turn. Uh, one copy of Serb, one copy of IP, one copy of Link Rebo, we don't want to get, you know, uh, Ibo lead, and one copy of Link Rebo. So with that, let's hop into some games. So, for our first match, we're playing up against everybody's favorite deck of all time, True Draco. Um, they'll start with Time Tearing Morganite uh, and follow it up with the Duality, because they're just really nice with it. They'll take a punishment here, um, and then they will proceed to Tribute Summon uh, a copy of Majesty Maiden over this copy of True King's Return. Set one, fire off, um, you know, the one of, of Card of Demise, then set three and pass back. Uh, they'll Tribute Summon Dynamite 
Uh, we'll negate Dynamite when we go for Spidey Swarm. But we'll go for Hugin. They'll flip Skill Drain. We'll pop Skill Drain. Get our search here. Unfortunately, this means we don't have a Runic card to, you know, draw off Fountain, but whatever. Uh, from here, we will bring back. We'll tribute away our Hugin to get out Beat so that Beat triggers when we summon this Rex. Uh, we'll trigger Rex. We'll trigger uh, Beat. And, of course, we'll get Punishment. Uh, they'll hit us with Punishment here. Um, so we'll go grab another copy of Rookie. Uh, I kind of uh, messed up here. We'll Normal Summon Donner. I'll uh, bring back Beat. Uh, from here, we'll fire off... Uh, uh, our boy Don Pop popped their guy. Uh, and it's a second copy of Punishment, which really sucks for us. I should have set Rookie to dodge here, but I misplayed because I knew the deck. They'll drop a diagram here, set one, pop the diagram, go get returned. Uh, but we really just need any, you know, runic card to get back in this, this and we're completely fine. And we drew the best one. Uh, tip is basically the end of the game here, so we're going to be able to very much out-resource them. We'll fire off Fountain uh, and then add Destruction here. We want to clear all their stuff, so we will proceed to draw three. Um... And we'll find uh, just about everything we could ever want here. We'll go Fossil Dig and we'll go grab Rex. Uh, from here, we will Normal Summon uh, Philo. We'll trigger Philo, Special Out, Rex, trigger Rex, trigger Philo. Oh, we'll get back our Beat uh, and go get another copy of Rookie. Um, we'll fire off Slumber, get another Hugin here. We want to get even more cards into rotation. Uh, just completely shut them out of the game. We'll fire off another Fountain, pop their True King's Return. Uh, draw some more cards with Fountain here. Uh, they'll trigger Return, but we get to dodge with Rookie. So we'll go get Seal here. Uh, draw into another Destruction is just unbelievable. We'll special out Rafal here. Uh, trigger Rafal, trigger pretty much everything. We'll go Excavate. Uh, go get ourselves a copy of Flashing Fire. Uh, we, we're just so far ahead at this point. We'll make a full go. Uh, special out Wiz from here. Trigger Wiz, gain some life points, pop their guy. Draw three more cards. You know, go to battle and pass back to our opponent. Uh, who's on two cards. You know, they got a dream of, uh, but we'll just negate extra uh, they'll fire duality will ash and this is the end of the game so if you haven't noticed the recoverability is insane because runic says draw a bunch of cards every turn um and additionally you know pop floodgates that are stupid <laughs> so our next match is up against you know the greatest deck of all time blue eyes but you know this is mostly just to demonstrate beating skill drain and you know how annoying jet dragon is um and phase they'll you know trigger jet uh get out of jet uh, if you can, can't tell, one of these is obviously Skill Drain. They'll flip True Light and Drain here, which is, you know, really annoying here. But thankfully, we've drawn Rookie to dodge. We'll go for Hugin. We'll dodge. Uh, we'll get out Beat here. Um, just really annoying situation because we've got to draw into uh, exactly a, either Tip or the ever-lovely, uh, uh, everyone's favorite, Destruction here. So we'll draw uh, three cards here, and none of them are Tip or Destruction. So we're kind of out of luck, and we got to stall a turn here. Um, so they'll proceed to, you know, flip up Lord. Um, we're in a bad, bad spot here. We can't really beat Skill Drain at this moment. Um, thankfully they'll go for battle, uh, and bounce our Fountain, which is fine by us. They'll trigger their other Jet and Grave, uh, and just walk in for a whole, whole lot of damage here. Um, we're just in a rough spot. We gotta find some way to deal with this Drain, um, and a second Fountain is not what we need. Uh, but we'll fire off Fountain, we'll special out Jerry here, uh, we'll trigger Fountain, uh, and we'll draw into Tip, which is exactly what we needed, thankfully. Um, from here, we'll fire off Fountain. I really should have gone for True Light here, because we probably could get to another um, Destruction. Uh, keeping them off of all their stuff is, was probably the right call, but I kind of messed this up. Um, thankfully, we're, re we're rewarded as we find another Tip off the top. Uh, we'll proceed to, you know, fire off uh, rookie here, we'll get out Rex, trigger Rex, go get Mayhem. We're in a very winning position here, though. We'll make IP, uh, but currently, you know, we don't have a real out to Jet Dragon as they're just big guys. Uh, so we'll make Avermax because they don't have a way to out it. Uh, and let's see what they draw off the top. And it is a Mother Sucking Kaiju. We'll shuffle away one Jet Dragon, and, and from this position, we can win the game, though. Um, since they've added Avermax, uh, we're kind of fine here. They'll fire True Light, we'll fire. Destruction and Curses to negate their copy of Jet. Um, everything's going to trigger here. They're going to blow up their board with True Light. Uh, and we're going to draw three cards. The Reveal, the Boy, um, and proceed to pass back. End phase, we'll bring back Rafal here. Uh, just to, you know, get some bodies on board. Uh, from here, we're just looking to get in for, uh, you know, set up, some, set up our board presence. Uh, we'll trigger all of our stuff here. Get back Rookie, uh, Special Pack, Beat. Uh, from here, we'll link off for Fulgo, trigger Fulgo, trigger Beat, go get Seal. Uh, we're just accruing advantage, making sure they can't play the game. 
uh, we'll trigger seal, gain some more life points because we're a little low here. Fast back to our opponent before after going to battle. Uh, and this is pretty much the end of the game. We're going to wrap it up here. Um, they'll proceed to pass back to us. Uh, we can now go to battle here. Uh, we'll switch everything to attack. We'll special out seal, trigger beat here. Go get uh, Don Pa. Uh, we're just going to link away, make a unicorn, you know, link climb into access, get in for well, well over lethal. But, you know, not even skill drain can stop um, any deck that plays runic because destruction's a crazy card. So, our last match of the day is up against Dinosaur. We'll start with Slumber and Draw here. We'll get out Hugin. We'll go for Fountain here and proceed to, you know, go to main. Uh, from here, we'll normal out Rex. We'll trigger Rex. We'll go get Rookie. Um, we will use Rookie to get away this Hugin and free up our EMZ. Uh, from here, we will activate Fountain. We'll use Flashing Fire to get out of this copy of Jerry. We'll trigger Fountain to draw three new cards. I uh, will find Tip plus a second Ash, which kind of sucks. We'll trigger Fulco and Rex here. Uh, we'll special summon back this beat, uh, special out Rafal, uh, and then proceed to trigger uh, beat and Rafal uh, in sequence here. Uh, we'll add another copy of Slumber. Um, this is pretty good for us. Uh, we'll go get Seal here. Uh, from here we will, you know, special out Seal, you know, uh, and then proceed to fire off Tip to go get Freezing Curses. Uh, we just want to, you know, get stuff. Um, I have no idea why they're playing this, you know, normal. Oh, yeah, it's a normal for Dino. Uh, that's why. I remember now. Um, we will add back this copy of Beat. Uh, they'll fire Lost World and Normal Summon Scrap Raptor. We'll freeze and curses the Scrap Raptor as it's our only opportunity to. Um, they'll proceed to go to Grotten Zeno. Um, they'll go Talents to draw. Uh, from here, we'll fire off Slumber because we want to draw, you know, more cards as well. Uh, just, you know, hoping we can get rid of their top deck. Um, they'll go to battle and attempt to walk into our token before realizing that they can't trigger Lost World because, you know, Slumber protects it so it won't even be destroyed. Um, so yeah, if you've noticed, the runic cards have a sh crap ton of utility. <laughs> so, back with the deck. Uh, my general thoughts are that it's very fun, um, and that its draw power enables it to, you know, basically recover, uh, lightning fast, um, for blinking. Uh, it's very dynamic, it doesn't really lock you into things. I definitely think that it's a powerful deck moving forward in the format, um, uh, especially just considering its draw power, uh, relative consistency as a result of that. Uh, and the, you know, disruptions that Runic provides. I'm not sure if it's the best Runic variant, uh, but I definitely think it's one of the strongest. Uh, I am i don't like how much non-engine it plays, uh, because I, I'd like to play some more, you know, more than one set of hand traps. But overall, I'm, I'm very happy and satisfied with the deck. Uh, this uh, list was the result of me, you know, seeing a bunch of lists and kind of struggling with it uh, while trying to play Lab. But I hope you guys did enjoy. Uh, I certainly enjoyed playing it. Uh, and if you did, make sure you like and subscribe, and I will catch you guys in the next one.